Here's Takara Fuji and Tobi Zaru. Tobi Zaru from a strong hair, Oite Kaze Beo, with six Seki Tori. Takara Fuji, a solid veteran. Going straight on is Tobi Zaru not using his lateral movement. That might be a mistake against Takara Fuji, who can hold his ground. Tobi Zaru looks like he's trying to push back Takara Fuji, but it's not working. Now Tobi Zaru looks a bit tired. Takara Fuji waiting, waiting for an opportunity to force back Tobi Zaru. Tobi Zaru has a straight arm on Takara Fuji, but it's not working at all. Now they lock up arms. So it becomes a stamina battle. Who has more gas left in the tank? Takara Fuji is certainly a lot bigger than Tobi Zaru. Tobi Zaru seems to be more fatigued than Takara Fuji at this stage. He's still trying to push back Takara Fuji. You can hear them breathing hard. Takara Fuji, he moves in and he pushes out Tobi Zaru. It ends up as an Oshidashi win for Takara Fuji. He picks up a Kachikoshi, an all important eighth win, and you can see Tobi Zaru is just spent. Tobi Zaru down to six and seven. Both men breathing hard. Eight and five record for Takara Fuji. Here's our first bout of the day between Dae Sho, a co-leader, and Liu Den. After sweeping all the Sanyaku Rikshi in the first week, Dae Sho has been a bit shaky in the second week. Nerves, perhaps? Thinking about his first Yu Sho? He's at 10 and 2. His opponent, Liu Den, 4 and 8. Daesho slams into Duden. Gets started with a nice tsubari. No doubt today. Daesho with a strong Oshi attack and wins by Oshi Dashi. So he maintains at least a share of the lead, picking up his 11th victory. He didn't look shaky today, Daesho. A strong Tachi Ai. And he has a nice follow up with the thrusting. Keeps Ryuden right in front of him and shoves him out. So Daesho picks up a big win on day 13. Here's Hokuto Fuji and Toku Shoryu. The strong pushing attack that Hokuto Fuji displayed in November has disappeared. Four and eight record. Toku Shoryu, nothing like last January when he stunned everyone by winning the Yusho. Two and ten. Hokuto Fuji with a fast start. He immediately gets Tokushoryu on his heels and has a convincing Oshidashi victory. That's a push out. That's Hokuto Fuji's fifth victory this tournament. Tokushoryu falls to 2 and 11. There's the strong pushing attack.
Up next are Kagayaki and Mitake Yumi. Five straight wins for the Komusubi. Kagayaki, five and seven. Moving forward is Mitake Yumi, and it's all one way traffic. An Oshidashi win for the Komusubi. Mitake Yumi with a sixth straight win and a Kachikoshi overall, eight and five. Tadaima no Kimaite wa Oshidashi. Mitake Umi gets off to a strong start, and Kagayaki has no answer. Here's Takayasu and Tamawashi. Mirror records. Takayasu, 7 and 5, needing one more win for his Kachikoshi. Tamawashi is at five and seven. He's dropped four in a row. Good start by Tamawashi with the thrusting attack. Now they separate. And it's Takayasu who answers with his thrusting. A tsukidashi thrust out by the Komusubi to pick up a Kachikoshi. Takayasu has really come alive in the second week. Takayasu started off his career as a tsukiyoshi rikshi, but has transformed into a yotsuzumo man going to the moashi most of the time. But that doesn't mean he's forgotten how to push an opponent, and he shows it right here. He answers Tamawashi's pushing attack with a nice thrust out of his own. On the dohyo now, it's Sekiwake Terunofuji. And Maigashira 5, Endo. Teruno Fuji seeking double-digit wins this tournament to keep his Ozeki re-promotion hopes alive in 2021. Endo is at 5 and 7. Three straight losses for him. The timing not quite right there. So they'll try to line up a second time. Off to a clean start. Tendo no Fuji grabs the arm of Endo. Endo able to extract that arm. Tendo no Fuji surges forward and wins by Oshidashi push out. Tenno Fuji doing a good job bending those reconstructed knees and staying low and pushing out Endo. He's up to nine and four. Tenno Fuji keeping those knees bent. Trying to grab on to the Mawashi of Endo. Doesn't get a grip, but doesn't need it in the end. Here's Asanoyama and Okino Umi. Asanoyama with a commanding 10 and 1 record head to head versus the veteran Okino Umi. In this tournament, he's 8 and 4. Still mathematically in the usual picture. Okino Umi, 7 and 5. 
needs one more win over the final three days for his kachikoshi. They slam into each other. Asanoyama moving forward. Okinomi trying to circle around, but a strong left and outside grip by Asanoyama. That's his favorite grip, by the way. And he uses that to power down Okinomi with an uate nage overarm throw. Ozeki Sumo by Asanoyama. They slam into each other. Asanoyama slips a right arm inside, then he combines it with that left hand outside grip, and that was the key. Down goes Okinomi. Another look. Strong sumo by Asanoyama. Here's our second bout of the day. Co-leader Shodai versus Sekiwake Takanosho. Shodai has looked vulnerable but still has been winning. Here they are head to head. They've split four previous matches. The final match of day 13. Shodai has been dancing around at the edge of the ring. Takanosho does have a strong pushing attack. Coming in low is Takanosho. Takanosho moving forward. Ooh, it was close at the edge. Gyoji points his Goombai first to Takanosho and then to Shodai. So he wasn't sure. And the judges aren't sure either. So they're going to step up and have a mono e. They want to talk about this one. Here's a slow motion replay. Keep an eye on the feet of Shodai or the right hand of Takanosho. Looking at that slow motion replay, looks like Takanosho's right hand did land. We discussed whether Takanosho landed first or not, and he did. So as the Gyoji called, Shodai is the winner. Shodai getting oh so lucky once again. He could have easily lost that match at the edge. Instead, he picks up his 11th victory. So he remains tied with Dae Sho for the lead in the Yusho race, both at 11 and 2. Here's another look. Shodai is a tough guy to push back, and he shows it right there at the Tachiai. Instead, he's moving back Takanosho, but then Takanosho regroups. And he moves forward. Now Shodai is in trouble. Look at the feet of Shodai. You can either call him lucky or you can say he has great ring sense. He picks up his 11th win. So we will go to the next to last day tomorrow with no change atop the leaderboard. Shodai and Dai Eisho. And then you have four men, two steps behind. Thanks for watching Grand Sumo Highlights.